Coming up on the Angus Report, a look at the ongoing bull sale season. Ensuring value reduces risk in a time of market volatility. The Angus Beef Bulletin is available online. And a visit to Montana to feed hay with heavy horses. This is the Angus Report. Hello and welcome to the Angus Report. I'm Bob Cervera. And I'm Crystal Albers. Our top news this week. With lower trends in feeder and fat markets, what do breeders anticipate for the ongoing bull sale season? Buyers who want higher quality bulls for larger numbers of females with the market down, it's never been more important to add value to your herd in the form of better quality calves. The bull sales are going to be coming up. I think everybody is very optimistic. The market's not quite as high. The feeder and the fat market is off a little bit from what it was last year. But the strength of the Angus breed, I think, is going to compensate a lot for that. People that are buying bulls are buying Angus bulls. And, uh, and we, we look for a great spring bull season. I think adding quality to your calves is in this, in this little bit of a challenging market is uh, adding quality and value are going to be very important this year with the market down just a little bit. And I think buyers are going to be looking for soundness, they're going to be looking for pounds, and they're going to be looking for carcass traits uh, in ways to add value. You can add value to your calves by adding pounds or by adding carcass traits depending on how you sell your calves. And I think in this market that's off just a little bit this year, it's going to be more important than ever for these bull buyers to really zero in on the cattle that will add pounds and will add carcass traits. Volatility in fed and feeder prices has been the enduring theme the past several months. Volatility that can make decision making difficult. Reducing risk becomes imperative and quality genetics and accurate selection tools could hold the key. You know, Angus has a very comprehensive evaluation system. We cover uh, over 18 different traits and indexes that are involved for, use, for producers to use in selection. Everything from things that directly impact production on the ranch like weaning weight and mature cow size to the carcass characteristics, heifer pregnancy, feed intake, you know, a very ver a wide variety of traits that are measured to help us characterize these cattle. And then we have these profit indexes, uh, what's called dollar W or wean calf value and dollar B or beef value that help identify the most profitable combinations of those traits depending on whether you're someone that's that's producing calves on the ranch or whether you're someone that's buying feeder cattle, for example, that information helps you determine which genetics are most profitable. With the amount of, of carcass data that the Angus Association and Certified Angus Beef have collected, uh, combined with the pedigree information, other performance data, and now the genomic tests that are also available, we're really able to develop these high accuracy genomic equations. And so we can test young animals and get a very accurate prediction on their potential for some of these traits much earlier than we would have in their life. The Angus Beef Bulletin is now available in its entirety to cattlemen online through Angus Media's newly launched website, angus.media. The website, which ties together Angus Media's various communications and marketing platforms, now features the current issue of the Angus Beef Bulletin on its homepage. Readers access the issue in a flipbook containing articles and advertising searchable by keyword. You can explore the January issue online now and send feedback to editor at angus.media. A newly introduced naval fleet is fueled by beef. The Great Green Fleet is a Navy initiative highlighting how it and the Marine Corps are using energy efficiency and alternative energy to increase combat capability and operational flexibility. The guided missile destroyer USS Stockdale left the pier in mid-January to begin its deployment, becoming the first U.S. Navy ship running on an alternative fuel blend as part of its regular operations. The blend fueling the surface ships contain alternative fuel made from waste beef fat provided by farmers in the Midwest. It was purchased through a partnership between the Navy and USDA aimed at making alternative fuel blends a regular part of the military's bulk operational fuel supply. A new workshop offers to help rural entrepreneurs achieve their business goals. The Small Giants Conference, scheduled for February 17th in Lincoln, Nebraska, is hosted by the Engler Agribusiness and Entrepreneurship Program and by VAIC. While many businesses today are driven by getting bigger, Small Giants is a global membership organization focused on the promotion, implementation, and advancement of running a successful, values-driven business. Attendees at the conference will have the opportunity to connect with other values-driven business leaders, learn what it means to be a great and not just big company, and participate with inspirational and acclaimed business leaders. Registration is due February 12th and costs $80 for business leaders and $40 for students. Visit engler.unl.edu to learn more. 
The Chickoff's Masters of Beef Advocacy program now is accepting applications for its biannual top of the class training session, which is a graduate level training session for MBA grads who want to make more extensive communications efforts for the beef community. Selected participants are trained extensively in giving media interviews, making culinary demonstrations, impactful presentations, and effective social media posts and blogs. Five new participants will be chosen through an application process and decisions of a panel of judges. If you know a producer or beef community representative who might be interested in applying, visit mybeefcheckoff.com. We go now to Jenna McCrell for all the news you need to know this week in the Angus business. Thanks, Crystal. The National Junior Angus Show is an event that hundreds of Angus youth and their families look forward to each summer. And in 2016, the big event takes place July 3rd through the 9th in Grand Island, Nebraska. The Nebraska Junior Angus Association is partnering with the South Dakota Junior Angus Association to coordinate and raise funds for what's sure to be another record-breaking show. And with Angus bull sales on the horizon, 15 seed stock breeders in Nebraska and South Dakota are donating proceeds from their Lot 16 bull to support the 2016 NJAS. Visit the newsroom at angus.org for complete listing of participating breeders. Now in its second year, the Future Angus Stockman program is proud to offer a sponsorship for one enrollee to attend Artificial Insemination, or AI School, courtesy of Select Sires. Applications are now available online and are due back by April 30th. A recipient will be announced by May 16th. The Future Angus Stockman program is offered by the American Angus Association as a way to equip aspiring cattlemen and women with the tools and knowledge they need to be successful. Visit the commercial programs page at angus.org to learn more. And there are just a few days remaining to apply for the Women Connected Conference hosted by the American Angus Auxiliary at the Certified Angus Beef Education and Culinary Center in Worcester, Ohio. The Auxiliary invites women from across the Angus industry and agriculture business to apply for the three-day event held April 2nd through the 4th. 20 women will be selected to participate, and the Angus Foundation sponsors all meals and accommodations for the conference. Applications are available at angusauxiliary.com and are due back Monday, February 15th. And that's what you need to know this week in the Angus business. Thanks, Jenna. When the Angus Report returns, true partners in ranch improvements. And we travel to Montana where Ray Gilbert feeds hay the old-fashioned way. Visit Angus.org to continue watching this episode of the Angus Report. The Angus Report is brought to you by Merck Animal Health. Why not prevent respiratory disease before it steals from your bottom line? Vista Once protects your calves with the most complete respiratory disease coverage available. And Vision Blackleg vaccines can add 14 pounds per calf at weaning. Contact your veterinarian or animal health supplier today. Your herd, your business, your family. You've always protected what matters most so you know how important vaccinations are for healthy cattle. And with Vista vaccines from Merck Animal Health, you know you're covered. No other vaccine works like Vista. Only Vista gives you complete dual action pneumonia protection and complete one dose fetal protection for the entire pregnancy. Protect what matters most. Talk to your veterinarian or animal health supplier about Vista. Beef quality is everyone's responsibility including yours. That's why the Checkoff funded Beef Quality Assurance Program is key to your future. BQA, empowering people because you can make a difference, taking responsibility because it's our job, not someone else's, working together because product safety and wholesomeness is everyone's business. Find out more at bqa.org. The greatest thing about business is relationships and building a family, a team. And that includes not only those that work directly at 44 Farms, but that team is so much bigger and that family is so much bigger because it includes our customers. And those men and women that are out there working so hard to provide a great, great product for the ultimate consumer. We believe that together we can do great things. I'd like to personally invite you to join us on Saturday, February 27th at 1130 for our spring bull sale at 44 Farms.
Did you know that 76% of millennials say they like to cook? Did you know that more than 50% of millennials say they don't know how to select beef at the grocery store or how to cook it right every time? Did you know 52% of millennials say they would rather go to a food festival than a music festival? While you're focused on managing your beef business, your beef checkoff is providing information that millennials need to make every beef eating experience a positive one. Get to know your checkoff at mybeefcheckoff.com. A favorite time of the year is calving season, but along with that special time are dangers, extra stress, and increased labor. Safety Zone Calf Catchers is all about safety and making processing new calves easier. Designed for ATVs or UTVs, one person can do the job and never be threatened by the protective mother cow. Make this and every calving season safer and easier. With Safety Zone Calf Catchers, watch videos and customer testimonials or order yours today at safetyzonecalfcatchers.com. Immediate shipping available. Deads, treatment costs, and poor performance. The combined effects of scours can add up to thousands of dollars per year. Protect your bottom line against these critical losses with Scour Boss. It's the only scours vaccine with the flexibility to administer at PregCheck with broad spectrum protection you won't find anywhere else. Contact your Elanco sales representative or visit scourboss.com to learn more about scours protection that delivers what others can't.